What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. The very best day of the week because today is snap on Friday. There's the man. So hopefully we got some cool new stuff today. So you guys, come on. It's all consensual after the first step. That's it. Dark in here too. We trying to set the mood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't never a good sign. A dirty box of connectors. That was on the trade in. That's what I'm talking about. You didn't <laughs> got somebody. <laughs> no, if they look like that, you didn't give them much for it. Hey, uh, that's actually brand new. I don't think it ever even hooked up to a vehicle. He really? bought it when he bought the scanner. That says like 500 bucks or something like that. Mm. Well, he traded in what he traded in on the, the scanner also. Somebody needs that right there. I think I already got a seller lined up for it. A seller? Or a buyer. I, I, I know who the seller's going to be. <laughs> yeah. I hope you got the seller lined up. Yeah, I know who the seller's going to be. Mm -mm. Already got a buyer lined up on it. What are you in the market of selling used sockets or something? No, that's one that we use to try out the one inch impacts and stuff. Mm -hmm. that on here just in case. Wore out stuff. Yeah. Hey, you got to make money where you can, though. Is that the new scrapers? No, that's just a regular one. I do get some of this. Oh, you got like four boxes in, three boxes in yesterday. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I should have just them. cut them open and that way yeah. I could have pre shopped. See what you want out yeah. there ahead of time? Just went ahead and loaded it up in the back of the truck. I would say in the box, but uh, <laughs> that ain't happening. And you got one of them, though. Look at there. You got my ratchet seeing. Just get a little bit over that time. Yeah, buddy. I have been waiting on this. Everybody's going to want the part number. So let me show them before we get started. That's all three of them. Yep. This one's probably 350, 750, and 1,050. Plus tax. Plus tax. Plus right. tax. Can't forget the tax part of them. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you've been waiting on, ain't it? Yeah, I see it. I heard that they was going to come out with the regular ratchets too. It was going to have the hundred, like the individual ones. I think I seen a picture of one the other day. Uh, I can't even remember because I was flipping through Facebook and I seen the picture and then by the time I realized what it was, I couldn't find it again. <laughs> yeah. Trying to find something on there we could buy, make a dollar off of. There you go. Well, that's a cool set right there. Yeah. That's bad, knowing I'll buy them. And they'll they probably rust them. inside the plastic. Yes, they probably will never even be used. <laughs> but them, uh, them are sharp looking. Yeah. Three-eighths and a quarter. Yeah, those are cool. Sort of a metallic in the, the camera don't really show it good, but it is a metallic in the gray. Logo. That right there looks good. With that red, that red right outlined on it. Yep. That's a sharp rig right there. Yeah. Neither one of them came with a boot, so I got some boots ordered for them. I don't know why they didn't come with no boot. And the screwdrivers are sort of a metallic. Yeah, they do got some. Uh, that's already tore, so I pulled it on so we can get a good. Kind of a metallic red looking. Yeah, it got some uh, sparkle to them a little bit. It ain't the red like the regular ones that's like these or anything. Yeah. You think anybody will actually buy them and use them? Yeah. Or you think it'll be just, uh, most of it will be collector stuff? I've, I got one guy that's already wanting one of these he said he didn't care which one he just wants to drive body like he just want to keep mm -hmm. and 
They said he might use it on something every now and then, but not no everyday work stuff. To, yeah. But he wants one just to have. Like I said, he didn't care which one it was. Well, they're cool. Blue Point Fuse Buddy. Hmm. I think that's you can plug in to see what kind of uh, amperage you're pulling through your fuse right there. To, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it out. I put a light bar on my lawnmower because I'm like, the only time I get to mow now is when it's dark, you know? <laughs> you know you got money. Huh? You know you got money when you put a light bar on a zero turn. I had to buy it at the pawn shop. I think about half the bulbs out of it, but it worked though. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put some spacers behind one of the bolts to get it aimed so with the half on this side working, it's shining right in front of me and not to the right side. <laughs> you expect people to believe that? Well, they can believe what they want to. It's the truth, it's the truth. <laughs> Oh my! Yep. Some people are probably like, "Why are you putting a fuse in the line on there? Is it just straight wiring it up with a toggle switch?" I imagine. Might as well do it right and put you a relay on it. Yeah. How about seven hundred wires? That way, every time you get on it, you'll hang your foot on them and rip them loose. <laughs> One of them hang down, run it over or something. <laughs> That's it. Wrapped up in the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Spend up half out. a day cussing and. Don't even get your yard boat. No, I tell you what, spend a half a day cussing. It was bush hogging the other day. I it was Getting some thick wire. stuff. I hit a freaking box spring like somebody burnt the mattress <laughs> and the the wire <laughs> spring was never even seen it backing oh, up. Oh, I bet that made a mess. I saw yeah. gun, I heard like click 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 and the tractor just shut off. I'm like, the crap. Clutched it, fired it back up, went to turn the PTO back on again, it killed it. So I Fired, fired it back up, drove on out, pulled up on the trailer where I can get the bush hog up in the air. So, I mean, there was a, it, you can still see about this much of it wasn't folded up up under it. The rest of it was folded up. Yeah. You Did it about, get above the stump jumper? Yeah. Oh, it sucks. Like, it sucks when it gets between the blade and the stump jumper, but it really sucks when it, it gets above the it stump It got jumper. above the stump jumper, got wrapped around up there. The best thing to do is take them little baby uh, Nipex, the boat, little baby boat cutters, and just lay on your back and cuss away. Well, <laughs> you be there. I'd sit there and we tried to pull. <laughs> it got the blades crossed up, wedged, uh, crossed up. I'd take a hammer and whack Beat them, them back and forth. Yeah. I just... I couldn't get it undone there, all the wire. We loaded up, went back to the house. I got to the house and started pulling off, got the cut off wheel and started cutting wires. Cause I started, first started with the, uh, uh, yeah, the bolt cutters. I didn't got none on here. Yeah. And cut, that's about 10 of them. I, I threw them across the driveway and went and got the cut off wheel and started cutting them. And finally got the biggest chunk pulled off. Got the blade separated. And then I couldn't get up to the rest of it so I had to pull the stump jumper off. That sucks. And yeah, the bolt is easy. Pull the cotter key, pull the nut off of it. Ain't no problem not getting the stump jumper off. Yep, that's some work right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody that's missed that in their life, they need to do that at least one time. Yeah. Like if they've never had that, they should take a roll of bob wire and just stretch it out and drive their bush hog over just so they can experience it one time. I got a new neighbor. Met him the other day and that super nice dude. I ain't never heard him cuss. He was helping me out the other day. I don't know if he cussed before that, but he figured it out by the time we was done. So. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll teach you how to yeah. cuss. And if you said I'm a changed man, I ain't gonna talk like that. Just give it yeah, a little come bit. Come over buddy. here. Yeah. It won't take you get long. Get that wire out. About from thirty minutes. Above you'll that be like, jumper right there. You'll learn what sob is at least. <laughs> yeah. And MF and a yeah. bunch of other ones that you don't want to say. I guarantee you, buddy. Yeah. Like I said, I've been I've done known him probably about three months. Like I said, I ain't even heard him say a cuss word or anything. Super nice dude, yeah. He's letting them rip out there, help me with that. <laughs> no doubt. Well, what else you got new and exciting? So you got a load of adjustable wrenches in. Yeah, we got some limb up here. We got the. To my knowledge, that's the only ones you can take and shake them and they don't rattle. These are, trying, yeah, these are the wide mouth. There's the regular ones right there, right behind you, some green ones. Yeah. That's the whole set of them. Yeah. Yeah, them right there is probably the best adjustable wrenches on the market. Yeah. I don't know are... they have that little bitty one. I need one of them little ones. Yeah. I think I've got 
these two sizes. Actually, I got the big one and maybe that size, but I don't want to pair them little bit ends. We can open them up and get them out. I need to get me a pair of them. Well, here's a uh, red one. This is a wide mouth. And you can tell the difference in the wide mouth and the regular ones. Well, because the wide mouth ones are smooth and the regular ones have teeth on the inside of them. Yeah. I think I got one wide mouth and one regular one with teeth. But I want them, I want to pair them little ones like that. Yeah. I like the ones with the teeth. I ain't even got none of the wide mouth on, so. That's perfect right there. How much is that little song? Because the bigger, I mean, the regular size is like 100 bucks a pair. The big ones are. Yeah, let's price it before you tear it open. <laughs> That'd be bad. I'd have to call Snap on credit and be like, look, I know he. His account got paid off last week, but he's wanting to buy a pair of these adjustable <laughs> wrenches. <laughs> oh, he's wanting to buy the set. No, ma'am, he's wanting to buy one pair. 66. Holy cow. How much is the, how much is these? Well, I might have to call Snap on credit back. <laughs> you know it's bad when he looks over this way and grins and then goes to typing again. Them list at uh, 540 and I got them at 380. Well, well, well. I'm going to get them because I might not ever have a chance to get another set. For sure. Well, I guess I'm going to get that little baby pair too because, uh, I want them. I ain't gonna say that I need them because I got the size above them. <laughs> but I do want them. That's usually what I tell my wife every time I go buy something. She's like, "Do you really need that?" I'm like, no. Yeah. She said, "No, need, not want." I said, "If I want it, then therefore I need it." So. Yeah. Well, there we go. That little son of a bitch will be lost and be sixty something dollars <laughs> and gone. Hell, it don't even work. It's hung. It's got a hard spot in it. You Clay's think gonna do it, don't you? Huh? Think I didn't even mess with them. Clay's gonna do a service call over the weekend. He'll lose them down there. Roll it back up. They can't make nothing right. What's no, it does right with, there. I felt what's it. wrong with Snap On? Just be used a little bit. Shoot, be warranted. <laughs> 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 I'll be darned. Brand new out of the pack and don't even work. Only one direction does that in. Yep. That's crazy, ain't it? It opens yeah. fine, just don't want to close. Right there, about the half inch mark. Yep. Always something. Damn snap on guy. That we'll little find Chinese some. kid that made them probably got, just got his hand cut off when they seen this video. Yeah, we won't report it to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already having to do it left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Two oh, screw-ups and you're done. We're going to get hate mail over that one now. Uh, I think them are made in like... Spain. Spain, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be some little Spanish kid. Little then. Spanish kid. They may, not, they may not cut his hands off. They may yeah. stripe his legs real good or something. We're kidding before anybody gets their feelings hurt. And Karen, was, just keep on rolling, sister. It's all right. What's the, the male version? I think it's like Richard. <laughs> just, don't be a Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Well, I definitely want a pair of them. They're getting easier now. All right. I told you they need a little wear and tear. I'll lose them anyway. I don't know why I'm worried about it. You'll be like, somebody will call you and be like, how much is a little green adjustable <laughs> wrench worth? I found one. It's about 30 bucks. I'll give you 30 back on it. That's it. All right, guys. So we're going to pick up the $11,000 ratchet set for 100th anniversary. <laughs> and uh, the wrench that's broke out of the package. But that's what we're getting today. We'll walk in and find one of these in the shop floor next week, y'all. <laughs> no, if it is, it's because the whole thing's in the shop floor because it's still in the plastic. I guarantee. <laughs> no, not them you won't. 
all right guys like always y'all have a great weekend thanks for watching if you like it hit that thumbs up check over here for some merchandise cool tools discount codes all that good stuff and click that subscribe button it's right there just click it click it <laughs> all right guys y'all have a great weekend we'll catch y'all later see ya